So hey folks and welcome back to another video and today's video is the first ride on the Triumph T100 Bonneville. Actually it's not the first ride, we rode this bike a couple of months ago down at Triumph just for about 25 minutes but we're going to put this bike through a week's test as we do with most of the loan bikes that come just to get a real feel for the bike and how it performs and also compare it to the Street Twin uh, the gold line that we've just sent back. So I'll go into a little bit more details between the Street Twin and this. So yeah, stick around, stay tuned. We'll be right back. So welcome back and the T100. So we're just up in the uh, Trough of Boland or just about to be. Beautiful part of the world in Lancashire if you've not been up here before. We're just coming into a strange place called Dolphin Home. The home of dolphins. And then we're going to head up into the hills. But uh, yeah, what I want to do is just have a look at the comparisons between this bike and the Triumph uh, Bonneville Street Twin. Uh, the Baby Bonnie, as I call it. And then you've got the T100 and then the T120. Now, there's a couple of differences that I notice instantly when I get on the T100. And one is because I'm a taller rider. It feels more comfortable and uh, more suited. I'm six foot two and 95 kilos. Uh, the seat, it feels more comfortable. It's a lot wider and taller uh, by 25 millimeters than the Street Twin. The tank itself uh, goes up from the Street Twin's 12 liters to the T100's 14.5 liters. And this bike gets about 68.4 miles to the gallon according to the specs. Now when I do look at the Triumph specs between the Street Twin and this bike I notice that the uh, dimensions are all pretty much the same even the the handlebar width and the height of the bike length of the bike so the t100 is uh, a little bit heavier than the street twin now uh, the bikes both share the same engine obviously different exhausts and i'll go on to that in a minute but also the the frame on this and the handlebars seem a little bit more bigger although on specs the handlebars are the same width but they just feel a little bit more chunkier a little bit more wider more comfortable really. The grips on the Street Twin were a little bit thin for my liking. I've got large hands though so. So I think the weight gain has mainly come from the beefier frame. I'm not sure if it's the same frame or not but it does feel different to ride. Also you've got cast wheels on the Street Twin whereas you've got the spoke wheels on the T100 which I actually prefer and I mentioned that in the previous video on the uh, the Street Twin Gold line that I had last week. I'll put a link to that video just in the right hand corner just here if you've not checked that out. Have a look at that video first and then come on to the T100 and you'll understand the uh, the differences and what I'm talking about between the two. I think if you were looking for a, a Bonneville or something like that with the 900cc engine they both share the same engine like I say there's just a difference in height and, and dimension a little bit between the two. Now I mentioned in the previous video the 900cc twin engine in this is my favourite over the 1200. It's just uh, a lot better through town. Uh, the gears, it only has five gears compared to the 1200 which has six gears. But on the motorways it, uh, it doesn't you know, rev crazily. It's got all the torque low down where you need it. The specs on this bike, I'm not going to go into too much detail because I did actually go into detail on the, the first ride of this bike when I took it out from Triumph. Basically you've got 64 bhp and then 80 newton meters of torque from this motor. One difference that you notice, the Street Twin, I'll put a, uh, a shot of the exhaust pipes and you can see they're slightly upswept and a little bit shorter. Whereas on the Bonneville here, as you can see, the exhaust pipes are very different. And both of the bikes do have a different sound. I prefer the Street Twin sound with those exhausts. Like I say, same engine, different exhaust setup. They've both got catalytic converters on them, so I'm sure if you decatted this bike, you would get a similar tone. Maybe not the same, but I think if I was to have the T100, which is my preferred bike because of the height difference, I think I would put the upswept exhaust, maybe an aftermarket exhaust, onto this bike. The one thing that I do love are these spoke wheels. Absolutely beautiful. Better than cast. Obviously a lot harder to clean. I think they're a lot nicer. The engine, like I say, shares the same engine as the Street Twin. 
This is the 900 high torque motor. And as you can see, we've got fuel injection just there, air filter in behind that side panel. Suspension on the bike, you've got non-adjustable 41 millimeter forks. And then on the back, you've got twin RSU. And these are preload only, just on the bottom there. The exhaust, like I say, so I much prefer the upswept ones. And as you can see just there, the axle nut is right behind the exhaust pipe. So to actually remove the rear wheel, you need to take the exhaust pipe off. Not too much of a problem, a couple of bolts just to take the end can off. So the seat height on the bike, as I was saying, is 25 millimeters higher than the street twin. And this is 790. Rear tail light is LED, but the front headlights are non-LED. Just there, look quite nice. And of course you've got the twin clocks on this bike, whereas on the street twin you just have the single clocks. Really nice. Like I say, the bars, they feel a lot more chunkier, but you've also got adjustable rate lever and also adjustable clutch lever, which is nice. You've got a nice metal chain stay on the back, stop all the oil flinging up. Comfortable footrests, no vibrations whatsoever through the uh, the twins. And then you've got a single disc, 320 mil disc with Brembo twin pot on the front and a 220 mil disc with a Nissin two pot on the rear. So yeah, bike itself, like I say, fits me. I'm six foot one and this is the same height as the T120. The only difference is it's got the 1200 engine in but I much prefer the 900cc. It's all you need for the road. Also, it's water-cooled now. You've got the slim radiator just down at the front there. And I'm not sure if you can see underneath, you've got the catalytic converter. But when you look from the side, it looks like it's straight piped. Nice design feature. Let's get back on the bike and go for a ride. So we're on a little country lane, all the wildlife around absolutely beautiful it's what i like about these bikes they're so simple you can just potter around these these little lanes just go out exploring uh, it doesn't need to be a racy ride just really really enjoyable now the only thing i've found on this bike that i can't really understand and i looked at the owner's manual this morning i don't know whether it's just uh, something that's been made wrong but i can't find the mode button to turn it from road to rain not that it's raining but I noticed on all of the other bikes, and even it says road on the, uh, the digital display on the dashboard. And when I look at the owner's manual, it says on, on all of these uh, Bonnevilles, you either get a mode button on the left control or on the right. And it's missing. It's not there. <laughs> so if any of you know how to change the modes on this bike, you know, I'm, I'm pretty technically minded. But for the life of me, I cannot find the mode button. And I actually think it's missing. I don't think it's on this bike, but it should be on this bike. Yeah, if anybody knows, let me know. One thing I always like about these bikes is the fuel gauges are pretty good, pretty accurate. But also you've got how many miles until you run out, which is great. You've got the gear indicator on the dash and uh, you've got an information button. You can scroll through all trip meters and miles per gallon and all that kind of stuff. So it's got the basics. And it is back to basics, just like the Street Twin was, which I absolutely love. The headlight on this bike is the same as the Street Twin. Now, I did test the Street Twin at night, and I didn't find the headlights too fantastic. And I made a comment that, oh, it would have been nicer to have LED headlights on this. But actually, in keeping with the style of the bike and the classic look, I think the traditional warm white bulb on this bike fits. So I'll take that statement back and I think the headlight suits the bike. Now I think in the Triumph catalog on this one there's 117 different accessories you can get for the bike so lots of customization to be done but what I do like about the Bonneville range and the the classics uh, when you look online there's actually tons of companies out there that do all kinds of aftermarket modifications just to put your own touch on these bikes it's something that I would do I'm really, really tempted to buy one. 
Now, if you've watched any of the other reviews on any of the other Bonnevilles that I've reviewed, you'll know that I do like a blacked out bike than a colorful bike. Now, don't get me wrong, I think the color of this and the blue and white that they do, really classy, really classic, love it. But I do like the matte and the gloss black that they do on these bikes as well. And I'll pull over in a minute and I'll just go through the, uh, the pricing between the Street Twin and then the T100, because there's not much in it. So let's have a look at the uh, weight. I mentioned this one was slightly heavier. And the difference between the Street Twin and the Bonneville T100. The weight of the uh, Bonnie here is 228 kilograms, and the Street Twin is 216. So there's a 12 kilogram difference. And I'm thinking it's just in the frame and the bars and maybe the wheels. Uh, it's got the same brakes, got the same uh, discs, same engine. Okay, exhaust slightly different, like I mentioned. Seat height, it's got the beefier seat on there, so it's uh, a little bit taller by 25 mil, like I say. 10,000 mile service on the engine, as normal with all Triumph motorcycles currently. Um, but pricing and colours. So the colour on this bike is the Carnival Red and White, although I think it's more cream than white. Uh, but that's what they call it. And then you've got a Lucerne blue and white. So the actual red section is blue. Also, they do a jet black version, which I quite like. So that's just the gloss black tank. And that matches the gloss black uh, mudguard and the rear fender of this bike. Also, as you can see just there. Both bikes A2 compliant on the 900 engine. So you get a kit. Um, so good for new riders. Okay, so now let's talk price. So on the Street Twin in blue, uh, it's 8,600, and to get the blue T100, it's 9,650. So you're paying another 1,050 pounds between the two. Uh, the Jet Black is 8,400 on the Street Twin, and then the black on the T100 is 9,300. So that would be 900 pounds difference if you wanted the Jet Black between the Street and the T100. Uh, the gold line that I featured on the last video the limited edition bike was £9,000. Uh, the difference there between the black version of this would be £300 difference. So not a lot in it between the Street and the T100. Um, but I think for me, uh, this bike is more substantial. It feels more chunkier, uh, which I like. The Street Twin, when I rode it, I found it very thin. The seat was thinner, the tank was smaller and thinner. So for me being tall, the T100 certainly fits the bill, or the T120, but like I say, I prefer the engine, which is the 900 engine, the high torque motor. Okay, so that's my little Triumph Bonneville T100 review. Uh, I've got this for a week, and like I say, I have done a first ride on this bike before, but I wanted to check just what it's like to live with for a week so I can give you a uh, final video at the end of that uh, week guys just to let you know what I actually think of this bike if there's anything little quirks or any dislikes or likes on the bike kind of a true review of uh, what it's like it's a little bit longer than when you take it out from a dealer for an hour uh, I'll be out on this most evenings this week and also next weekend just to get a real uh, feel for the bike. Yeah, thanks again. And uh, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, then uh, hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell for future videos coming up. And also, if you are a subscriber, again, appreciate as always, guys. And if you leave any comments in the comments section below, and I will answer all of those for you. So yeah, have a great uh, week at work, guys, or whatever you're doing. And I'll catch you on another video soon. Take care. Cheers.